And we continue to that second breaking news story out of Las Cruces. And we have complete team coverage of the suspension of New Mexico State's men's basketball program and how those new allegations have resulted in multiple players announcing they're leaving the team that's happened just in the last couple of hours. ABC 7 sports reporter Rachel Phillips is here to break down those new developments and where things stand for the New Mexico State basketball program. And while ABC 7 reporter Terry Mannix is live on NMSU's campus with what students and fans are saying about everything. All of that in just a moment, but first we want to bring you up to speed on what's transpired within just the last 24 hours. Here's a breakdown of the timeline of events so far. Take you back to 7 p.m. Last night, New Mexico State announces they are suspending their men's basketball program for the time being. A spokesperson from NMSU confirming this suspension has nothing to do with last fall investigation into that deadly shooting on UNM's campus, which involved a New Mexico State basketball player. That statement also saying the entire coaching staff now now placed on administrative leave. Now following this announcement, a source close to NMSU confirming to ABC 7 that this suspension is in reaction to the allegations of hazing. ABC 7 has learned that players are accused of hazing a teammate multiple times. A source close to NMSU confirming to ABC 7 that a police report has been filed. Let's bring in ABC 7's Rachel Phillips now for the latest developments. Rachel, what can you tell us? Well, Sam and Rosemary, a lot transpiring in just the last couple of hours, and I expect that to be the case over the course of the coming days. The biggest development right now is that two players have officially announced they are leaving the program. We'll get to what they had to say in just a moment, but first, the Aggies got back into Las Cruces at around 1 p.m. today after these new allegations were announced yesterday and their game against California Baptist was canceled. Sources have told me players have been in meetings with different NMSU personnel since they got back earlier today. Now, the two players that have announced via Twitter that they are leaving the program are Shahar Lazar and Ken Oliweiler. Lazar is a redshirt freshman, while Oliweiler is a preferred walk-on. It is both of their first seasons with the team. Oliweiler's statement simply read, my recruitment is officially 100% open, while Shahar's statement in part read, quote, I was raised on the values of excellence, discipline, respect, reliability, and accountability. However, in retrospect, I don't believe the program that I originally committed to currently aligns with my beliefs and core values, end quote. So where do things stand now with the program and two players leaving? Well, the season right now is indefinitely suspended. I was told by an NMSU official that right now they don't know if the Aggies will play another game this season. And I think it's fair to ask if we have seen the last of Greg Heyer with this program after everything that has gone on gone on under his watch. Obviously the shooting involving four of his players late last year that led to the death of a UNM student and then now these allegations which a source close to NMSU has told us involves hazing. I don't believe this incident is going to violate any rules or regulations that would cause the NCAA to sanction the university. Okay. Now saying that I think it absolutely shows a, a total disregard for institutional control. Okay. Um, and, and I, and I don't think that it is isolated to this incident. Now, Sam and Rosemary, obviously a lot of moving parts as the situation continues to unfold. And with the future of the season and this team right now up in the air, it really is just crazy to think that less than a year ago, the Aggies beat UConn in the first round of the NCAA tournament. And now they're here. We'll take a closer look at the future of the program coming up in sports for now. Back to you both.